Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. In today's Makeup 101 for Mature Beginners, we're going to do the world's easiest eyeshadow tutorial. You're going to need two products and one finger and that is all it's going to take to give you a really great like everyday eyeshadow look. It will help to make your hooded eyes look less hooded and those hoods to recede if you have hooded eyes and it will just help your eyes to look more awake, more defined, give you a little bit more brightness and color in that area. So the eyeshadows that I love to use for this are these little CoverGirl Exhibitionist lid paints. They come in these tiny tubes, they're super inexpensive, they come in great colors and they're so easy to work with. So I'm going to use two shades today. This one is a mid-tone matte and this one is a a lighter shadow with a little shimmer to it. So the mid-tone matte is going to go in the crease and at the outer corner of the eye and that's going to define the outer corner of the eye. It's going to help to disguise your hood and it's going to help to lift up that outer corner so you look more awake. And then the little shimmery color which you don't have to be afraid of. It's not like a frost. It's not super shimmery. It's very very subtle. That's what I love about these for more mature people. It's not going to accentuate your wrinkles. It will just give you the most beautiful light reflectiveness and a lighter color on the movable part of the lid also helps to create the effect of less of a hooded eye. Let me just bring you in a little bit closer for the tutorial. This has become like my go-to makeup that I put on just about every day. It's like my five minute, put it on, get ready and be out the door really quick. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this onto back of my hand. You don't need much. A little goes a long way. So just squirt out a little of that. And you're just going to use whichever finger, whether you want to use your index finger or your middle finger, and just rub it in there and just pick up a little bit of that. Just a little dab here on my middle finger. And you're just going to dab that at the outer corner of your eye. And then you're going to bring it up into the crease. And if your eyelid skin moves like mine does, you can reach over with your other hand and just pull that up ever so gently, just so you have a nice smooth canvas there so you don't get any skipping in it. And just with really, really soft, gentle motions, just rub that right across. It's really easy to work with this. It's really easy to blend. And you see it doesn't come out really super dark. And there you go. That is all you need for disguising the hood on the first eye. Now, if you like a one color look, you could take this all the way into the inner corner and just have it be a one and done, and then you'll be all set. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do the other eye. Put that on there. And if you don't wanna lift up on your eyelid, you can just use little patting motions to pat it in. That works too. And I just love how this blends because, you know, it looks kind of dark when it first comes out, kind of gray, and it just blends beautifully. All right, next we're going to grab the pink. I didn't tell you what the name of that was. It's called Sorry Sweetie. Real cheeky name there. So I'm going to do the same and just put a tiny bit of that out onto the back of my hand and just pick up a little of that. And I'm just going to run that from the center of my eyelid. This time I'm going closer to my lashes. I'm just bringing it in towards the inner corner. You want to be careful not to get it down onto your concealer. So then you want to put your finger at the inner corner and just kind of drag it back a little bit just to make sure that you don't have any uh, creasing in there because sometimes when you first push that in it'll crease a little bit so you want to smooth out any creases and can you see that it just adds the nicest little bit of shimmer. Let me go ahead and pick up the eyeshadow for the second eye. I'm going to start in the middle again and just bring it towards the inner corner. I'm just going to pat to blend those two together. And then again I'm going to put some at the inner corner and drag out just to make sure that that's nice and smooth with no creases and I want to keep the shimmer color beneath the crease. You've got a natural crease when you open your eye. It's where your skin naturally folds. That's the crease. So you want to keep your shimmer tones 
just on the movable part of your lid. Then you want to put your darker tones up a little bit higher just to disguise any hooding or sagging that you have in your skin up there. So that's pretty much the eyeshadow. That is it. And the great thing about these is that they last all day. Now that they're on there, I don't have to think about it. I don't have to worry about it. It won't smudge. So I'm just going to add a little eyeliner. So I'm going to use my Sephora Contour Crayon 12 hour waterproof. This is in Flirting Game. I'm going to use this one for the uppers and I'm going to use this nice lavender, which is called Lavender Fields, on the lowers. So I'm just going to tight line this eye, which is just putting it at the base of the lashes. And then I usually do a little flick up at the corner. Again, only using my fingers. So no tools, no brushes to buy. If you prefer to do top liner, you can do that. Here's Lavender Fields. I do like to use two different colors. I mean, you could just do the one color, upper and lower. Flirting Game is a really pretty shade for uppers and lowers. But for me, I do like to have a lighter shade on my lower lashes, on my lower lash line. And I pretty much just do the outer two thirds on the lowers. I don't go all the way in and I don't like to do like a really dark, um, you know, raccoon eye either. So let's just keep this all drugstore price point for my mascara today. I'm going to use L'Oreal Unlimited Mascara and you'll be out the door. You can go to work, you can go to see your friends. You'll have a little extra confidence, a little extra spring in your step knowing that you took that extra two minutes to just make yourself look extra pretty. Not that you don't look pretty without eye makeup. I'm sure that you do. Everybody does. But, you know, if you just wanted a little something extra, then this is a really super easy way to go. All right, so here's the finished look. I just love how easy and quick it is and how it really defines the eyes and just makes you look so much more put together, can give you more confidence. So definitely give this a try. If this tutorial wasn't exactly what you're looking for or exactly right for you, I've done a playlist of my other Makeup 101 series videos. There are a few different eyeshadow tutorials on there. There's a full face tutorial. There's also a Makeup 101 like basic beginner's makeup kit, what you might want to shop for, both drugstore and high-end. So I'll link the full playlist right here. You can see all the videos in the Makeup 101 for Mature Beginners playlist, and hopefully that will help you to fall in love with makeup, get more comfortable with makeup, and to start using it to your advantage as you get older. No matter what you're looking for, you can find it here on Hot and Flashy. I hope that you'll subscribe to my channel. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. As always, I thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate your watching. Have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Take care everybody. Bye-bye.